Hey all, it's Bennett, and we're back for another pickups video. This time, we didn't go yard sailing. It was rainy on Saturday, and that was just fine with me because uh, instead of going yard sailing, I had already planned to go to the swap meet. Yes, that's right. It was time for the annual swap meet. I don't know if the second annual or the how many th annual uh, swap meet uh, for related to the Southern Fried Gaming Expo, if I remember the name correctly, which was a uh, convention I went to last year and will be going to again this year if everything goes right. Anyway, uh, so in a town near-ish Atlanta, uh, go Raves, <clears throat> I uh, went up to a brewery there called Slow Pour Brewery and uh, they had uh, tables set out with people selling their games of all sorts lots of like tabletop games and that sort of thing and lots of video games of course it was it was probably two to one tabletop games but I was still able to find a few uh, things to add to the collection at the swap meet uh, and so I'll show you what I got. We'll start with a couple of things to fill in some boxes. Let's see, like, can you see right there? It is ATV slash monster trucks double pack for the DS. And also for the DS. My word, coach. Uh, this actually came with <laughs> the ATV uh, thing in this bag, like two for three dollars. So I was like, why not? I'll just, I'll keep my word, coach. That's fine. Uh, but the ATV thing, uh, it's gonna go in a box I already have. So that's that's that. Unless I lose it, which is not a big deal. And uh, following that, uh, we have. Tetris DX, and this is the Tetris DX belonging to, it's the Jonathan something, Mar Mar Martin, I don't know, Signature Edition, so that's very unique and uh, sought after version of Tetris DX for the Game Boy Color. Uh, I already have a complete copy of this in the collection, so this will be going in one of the two boxes I have for this game. And once I box it up, I'll be able to sell it, even with Jonathan's name on it, um, and pay back some of what I got, what I spent rather, at the swap meet. Uh, so I did not pay 21 for this. Um, it was well, I bought it together with Hot Wheels World's Best Driver on the Wii U complete, at least as complete as Wii U games get. Let's go on there, here it is. And along with that, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Also for the Wii U. It has the manual and everything. And all together I got these for a few bucks off, so I think it was uh, 50 for three together here. So pretty good little price there. Not too shabby. Not not you know world's best price, but uh, a little bit under uh, price charting. So that's good. And with uh, when I sell Tetris, it'll be you know money off of that. All right. Moving on. What else did I find? Oh, also in a in a way of um, filling in um, boxes that I have, we got Fable. The Lost Chapters for the Xbox has Platinum Hits, and that's exactly what I needed to fill in my Platinum Hits box. So there we go. Um, that was a big $2. Uh, moving on, I found a bunch of interesting things. There were kind of a lot of Genesis games around, and um, that was interesting to me. I, I don't have any real nostalgic uh, 
pull towards Genesis because I didn't have one when I was a kid. I just borrowed them or played them at a friend's house. Um, so I pretty much already have the things I'm most nostalgic for for the Genesis, specifically the Ghostbusters game. I mean, come on. But, um, you know, they're, the games are still pretty cool and there are things I want to check out and uh, the way they have the hard shell cases, uh, they look cool on the shelf too. So, uh, I'm in, you know, always looking out for uh, good condition games of any sort, but, you know, Genesis games complete. So, we have, uh, we picked up Hard Driving. This one is actually uh, new in the sense that it has never been opened or used, according to the proprietor whose childhood game this was. Uh, it's just, you know, the, the plastic has kind of split open over time, so it's not, you know, grade-worthy, new, sealed, everything, but nevertheless, never been opened. I used to love this game at the arcade. Uh, I understand the home versions are not very good, but this one is in a great-looking box, so I'm glad to have it on the shelf. Uh, and along with that, I got Jurassic Park from the same guy, and... It is in excellent condition. And it's got the little insert and everything. So there you go. I don't know how this game is, but I'll try it and find out. But everybody loves Jurassic Park, and this was in great condition, and I picked it up. I think together I got these for $40. And finally, at the swap meet, uh, there was another table that had a bunch of Genesis games, but I wound up buying all of the guys' uh, boxed Nintendo games instead. So here we go. Um, uh, first, we have Archon. Archon. Take your pick. Um, this is a strategy board. No sort of battle-y, board game-y kind of, kind of thing, I think. I really know very little about this, um, other than, I don't know, box looks cool, it's in good condition, and it's complete, and I was glad to pick it up. Uh, following that, we have Infiltrator. This seems to be a helicopter... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Let me read you the back of this. A, a, uh, Helicopter and espionage and something something kind of game, but anyway reading up Infiltrator by Chris Gray Good luck McGibbets. The fate of the world is in your hands Your captain Johnny Jimbo baby McGibbets the infiltrator that is a lot of nicknames for this dude uh Ace helicopter pilot, ballistics expert, rock star, motorcycle racer, and all-around good guy. Your assignment? Stop the mad leader before he fulfills his lifelong goal of total world destruction. He wants to destroy the world? That is mad. No bueno. Fly through enemy airspace in your gizmo D DHX-3 attack chopper, better known as the Snuff Master. What the heck? Uh, if hostile aircraft try to stop you, let them have it with a few rounds of cannon fire or a heat-seeking missile. Locate your target area, then land your chopper and carry out the specified ground mission before time runs out. The fate of the free world is in your hands. I mean, I can't wait to play this. It sounds like the greatest game in the history of the universe. Especially when you're controlling Captain Johnny Jimbo Baby McGibbets, the infiltrator in his attack helicopter, the Snuff Master. Ah, oh, my blood is boiling just reading it. So yeah, this is like 20 bucks. Uh, and you thought Operation Wolf was a good game. Uh, it's, you know, this one has you a bunch of shooting a bunch of dudes uh, with the light gun if you have it and uh, the controller if you don't. Wait, I think you can use the light gun. It doesn't say specifically. I've tried playing it with the controller and it doesn't work very well. This is another one I loved at the arcade though. They had the cool machine gun uh, accessory that vibrated and shot the heck out of everything. So I'm glad to have it. 
complete in the collection. I already had a loose copy, so this will be up upgrade city there, and I'll be able to sell my loose copy. There you go. Uh, but yeah, Operation Wolf, shooting dudes with a machine gun from the world's number one arcade game. <laughs> but it's no infiltrator. And finally, Mission Impossible. Look, which one of these is Tom Cruise? You tell me. Uh, your mission should you choose to accept it. Dr. O, the clone plan genius, has been kidnapped by the Sinister Seven. Also swiped with his computerized military defense system, which the evil thugs have reprogrammed to destroy the world. Now his future, and ultimately Earth's survival, depend on your crack Mission Impossible team to perform a secret surgical strike and rescue. But there's no Jimbo baby Johnny McGibbets. So this will just go off on the shelf. Anyway, that's complete. Uh, all together, let's see, these were uh, 20, 20, and 20, and this was like 40. Uh, but I got it for the combined deal of $90, and that's fine by me. Uh, getting, uh, getting the opportunity to role play as a uh, rock star helicopter pilot motorcycle racer Johnny Ace McGibbets. Wait, did I say he? No, he's he's not Ace. That <laughs> that was one extra nickname. Yeah, Johnny Jimbo Baby McGibbets. Yeah, that's that's worth the price of all this, just on its own. So can't be beat. Yeah, that was fun time at the uh, swap meet. Got a lot of cool stuff and made me uh, get excited about the other conventions that are coming up, including the aforementioned Southern Fried Gaming Expo, and hopefully I'll also be returning to the Southeast Game Exchange and racking up on some good scores there. But speaking of racking up on good scores, after the uh, after the swap meet, I couldn't just go on back home, so I went around looking at the uh, local thrift shops and at one place that was something like Ace Thrift or something like that. I was super surprised to get a massive deal. So this is one of those places that, I mean, this is my kind of thrift store. Like it was huge. I mean, it was mostly clothes and that's fine. That's, you know, other people are looking for it, That's fine. But uh, they did have DVDs and among them were some games. You'll see in a second. And it had on the sign, you know, Wednesday, everything's 50 cents uh, or whatever. Uh, Friday, everything's a uh, uh, dollar. Mm -hmm. And a Saturday, which was what it was, everything's a buck 75 each. Everything in the store, be it a pair of shoes or a DVD or what have you. So, uh, yeah, so I scooped up all the games I could find and got a whole sack full of games and stuff. Let me open them up and tell you what we got. This is making the best noise. Uh, I wasn't sure if the Everything's a dollar seventy-five actually included the DVDs because the sign was way out over the clothes and, you know, who knows, it could have just been that. Um, but when I got confirmation that it was, in fact, everything in the store, I was like, okay. Now, some of these that I probably would have put back were worth just picking up and I can, you know, bundle them together and make my money back pretty easily uh, with just these random uh, low-end games and keep some for myself and so forth and so on. Alright, it's happening. Here we go. Get all these things out. There's a lot of them. So I hope this bag rattling is not horrible on the audio. Alright. Uh, we're going to start with uh, not a game, but Django Unchained on Blu-ray. Uh, I honestly don't remember if I have this already. Oh wait, that's the Django Unchained bonus disc. 
What is this? <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> it's Aunt Bam's place. Well, okay. Uh, can't win them all. <laughs> that's, that's what I get for... Well, I'll tell you what happened with this one. I, I ran back and got this at the last second without even like opening up and looking so uh serves me right maybe the digital copy code will work or maybe i'll just be watching aunt bam's place uh instead <laughs> okay uh honest okay we're back just had a bit of a minor beverage mishap and I guess I'll just go ahead and finish up here so I can hopefully mop up what might be left before I stain the carpet. All right. Yeah, so didn't really get Django Unchained after all. Oh, well. Uh, next up, though, I did pick up Ex Machina on Ultra HD 4K disc thing there. Uh, this is a really cool movie, and i um, finding it on UHD format there, uh, 4K, uh, for buck seventy-five. Sounds pretty good to me, and hopefully the digital code works, and if it does, great. If not, whatevs. Uh, I think it's streaming somewhere. But anyway, cool movie. Uh, glad to find this. Now, the rest of it our games. We have NBA Live 09 All Play Edition on the Wii, and it's complete. Remember, buck 75 piece. Strike Force Bowling for the PS2, and it is missing the manual, but that's fine. I think I can figure out how to bowl on video game at any rate. Uh, then we have uh, the classic Original Xbox NCAA Football 2005 slash Top Spin Tennis Double Pack, uh, which I already have this, uh, so this will be sellable. And hey, oh look, comes with a bonus Call of Duty 2 Special Edition, the Big Red Run 1, Big Red 1, for Original Xbox as well, Still Platinum Hits, but yeah, it's got the disc for the football um does it have the disc for a tennis is that a uh i guess it's possible that it's missing the tennis disc and instead we get <laughs> call of duty no the tennis it's all in the same disc sorry i'm an idiot it's all on the same disc uh i'll show you right here it's for the original xbox so yeah i will compare with my copy and keep the best one and sell the rest and yeah it has manuals and everything so yeah, both manuals all right we have Wii music for the Nintendo Wii it is complete uh, everybody says this is pretty bad but that is fine I have a copy of that already a lot of these I already have that's good you know gonna be a theme um, but that's okay I'm, I mean this is a good way to put some bundles together and sell them back uh, out into the world. Okay, then we have NFL Game Day 2000 featuring Terrell Davis, former Georgia Bulldog, Go Dogs. And that's on the original PlayStation and it's complete. Yep. NFL Game Day. Back when Madden had a competitor or two. And then we have Gottlieb Pinball Hall of Fame Gottlieb Collection for the PS2 and that's complete and that features pinball games from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s on well, seven classic tables including Aces High, no, Ace High, Central Park, Big Shot, I've played that before on one of these collections, uh, Black Holes, supposed to be good, Teed Off, i played that before, yeah, actually I've played Black Hole before cool stuff yeah good pinball collection for the PST then we have hip-hop dance experience for the Xbox Connect and that is complete 
I am sorta of, kinda trying to get all the Kinect games as a subset of the three, Xbox 360, uh, but I'm not going too hard on trying to get it. Um, I don't remember if I already have that, but I do now. Uh, and then, uh, speaking of dancing, uh, we got Just Dance for the Wii, Volume 1, and it's complete. Then we have Just Dance 2 for the Wii, and it's complete. Uh, I definitely already have both of those. Um, let's see. Uh, we have Just Dance Kids for the Wii. Also complete. I don't have this one. I have Just Dance Kids 2. But now I got one. And speaking of terrifying things for the Wii, it's Bratz Kids. Um, this is one I, I considered putting back, but <laughs> I, I, I bit the bullet because they were so cheap. And, uh, and it's complete. When else am I gonna, you know, get all the Bratz Kids uh, on the Wii for the price I got? I was paying. Um, and. Yep, yeah, so let's see what else we have. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party 3, also complete for the week. Lots of dancing. I don't even like dancing. <laughs> uh, then we had We Play for the week. And it's complete. And as you just saw, came with a bonus Wii Sports, which is always a winner. Uh, this, as long as it works, will um, will probably actually sell uh, enough to pay for these games anyway. But um, at the very least, both of these, some of these games are good bundlers with uh, a Wii system uh, or you know controller that sort of thing. So um, yeah, good. It's always good to get a copy of Wii Sports and you know Wii Play doesn't sell them for much by itself but it's it's you know a must for the for the week come on um then we have glee karaoke revolution except it really has band hero on the inside um i don't know which <laughs> i i don't know <laughs> uh i think i already have band hero and i don't think i have glee karaoke revolution so it's a little you know extremely minor uh, nuisance there but uh, again the price was right I just went ahead and grabbed it and then Metal, Metal of Honor Heroes 2 for the Wii and that's complete and finally we have what was almost the coolest thing in the whole bunch Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 now this is not Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 which is worth uh, a couple hundred dollars or some crazy thing like that but uh, this uh, has, you know, known to get up there pretty decently. Minimum, it's like a $35 game or whatever, so that's cool. But um, in some places, you'll see it's like a $100 game, so it's the it's like listing, listings are questionable. But regardless, I was like, but then I open it up and Bruh. I was like, but that's okay. Now I have case. We'll see if the game ever falls my way. Uh, but yeah, that was that. So that ends up being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, wait, I don't know, 18. Yeah, 18 games, I think. So what uh, happened was 18 games, actually 16 games, and uh, two movies, one of which is definitely not Django Unchained. <laughs> yeah. But what happened is I put my stack up on the uh, on the checkout and said, so all these are buck seventy five each, and uh, I was like, yep. As a matter of fact, uh, we're having a, a deal with all the DVDs and games. Uh, if you you buy one, get two free. So yeah, all together. At the time, I had um, sixteen items up there, and you counted them out in bundles of three. Uh, and um, then had one left over and was like, do you, he's like, do you want to pick out 
two more and you know get them free and i was like hold on and that's when i ran over and got that uh django unchained again without really looking inside obviously uh and i also at that time got the karaoke grew evolution glee which i knew had the wrong game in it and i had left for that reason i ran out and grabbed it because it was you know free so yeah so i got six bundles of three games each uh which were a buck 75 per bundle leaving uh, a grand total of uh less than twelve dollars um wait six bundles yeah grand total of less than twelve dollars or thereabouts um for these uh, 18 items so that's my kind of thrift store so I was super excited to get all that hopefully they all work I'll bundle some up and sell them I can easily make my twelve dollars back and then some and keep what I need for the collection including Bratz kids and of course Bam's place. Okay. That's going to do it for today's pickups. Thanks for watching uh, and going on this little journey with me. I appreciate all y'all watching and all new subscribers and all that. It's great to see you. And there will be more to come. Uh, stick with me. We'll see you soon. Bye.